The Stanford Statistics Department has often been a source of influential ideas in statistics. We've had ideas like the bootstrap and the lasso, compressed sensing, and it goes all the way back to the 1950s with Stein shrinkage and many more things in between. The main goals of the department are to pursue research in statistical methodology and to train PhD students. The department also has an important role in the undergraduate interdisciplinary mathematical and computational sciences major, and we also have a master's program in statistics. So you can think of three stages in a statistics problem. There's somebody talking to a user, learning an exact problem that they have. There's somebody developing a method for those problems, and there are people doing deep theory on how those methods could work or should work. And most of the faculty in this department actually inhabit two or more stages in that pipeline. This kind of pipeline approach helps us be stronger across the spectrum. Dimension reduction in statistics for biologists involves making representations which are low dimensional so we can visualize and make plots and have a good idea of what the uncertainties involved are at the same time as seeing important interactions. Dimension reduction involves complicated matrix analysis and functional analysis, and biologists don't understand these black boxes. So we try to provide valid first-order approximations that they can then refine later on. Working with microbiome data is both interesting and challenging. You can't apply classical statistical methods and tools to analyze them because the data is both very noisy and sparse. And so as a statistician, you have to develop new tools to understand what is going on in the data, and this is uh, very rewarding. Working with Professor Holmes prepared me to be a better data scientist. You start from raw data and work your way up to understand what are the patterns and structure and the data and gain any insights that are useful. Mathematical and computational science is an interdisciplinary major for students who are interested in tackling analytical and quantitative skills in science, industry and society. I see MCS as a quantitative liberal arts major which provides intellectual foundations for quantitative work, whether that's an industry or in graduate studies in a STEM field. But importantly, it's also become increasingly relevant in other fields, such as in the social sciences, education and law, because there's a need to analyze data and to use data meaningfully in society today. Data Science for Social Good is a summer program where groups of students work on data science problems with a social impact component. Students will work on a variety of projects, for example, our students are partnering with the VA where they'll look at opioid use, help to develop risk scores, and create visualizations that help clinicians and patients understand opioid use. My experience with mathematical and computational science so far has been incredibly challenging but also very formative. I've been able to apply the things that I've learned in the classes here uh, to an incredible array of different real-world topics and problems. And that ability to problem solve would not have come without the rigor and breadth that mathematical and computational science offers. One of the things that I find quite interesting is randomized quasi Monte Carlo sampling. Many of the problems in applied math and engineering involve sampling a very high dimensional function. If you have tens or hundreds of input variables, you just can't look everywhere. But if you sample it strategically with a little bit of randomness, then you turn it into a statistics problem that you can then solve with statistical methods. A related area called uncertainty quantification involves, among other things, figuring out which of those hundreds of inputs are the really important ones. They're not usually equally important, and you might not know ahead of time. I started working with Professor Owen during my second year of graduate school and he had done some prior research on combining data from different sources and I was really interested in approaching that from a causal inference perspective. My dissertation focuses on making causal conclusions from data from different sources, particularly when some of it's experimental and some of it's observational. The Stanford Statistics Department curriculum provides a really rigorous foundation for all of the graduate students and I found that really helpful uh, because it helped me to develop my my thinking about what the kinds of research I wanted to do, and then ultimately to become more of an applied researcher later in my graduate career. This is an exciting time for statistics and for statisticians. Data is everywhere. 
sciences, engineering, social sciences, everybody has data. Companies have data, universities have data, and statisticians are getting involved with people from other fields, economics, computer science, they all have things to say about data. There's this emerging notion of data science, and I'm happy to say that Stanford University has a big organizational commitment to being a prominent player in data science. Mm -hmm.